Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. The action is going to roll on here as we continue to determine number one contenders for next week. And we know that our next participant in matches will be Skylar Phoenix entering through his brand new theme song from Change of Season, Rise of the Phoenix is the title of the song. Got himself some really short hair now. He's got himself some new clothes, new pants, new shoes. This guy's looking good. Getting quite the response here from the fans here in attendance at Murphy's Gym for WAW Aftermath. Skyler no, Phoenix man. looking to put himself right in the title picture. And his opponent is going to be a man who made his return at Lord of the Ring. A change of attitude and a change of how to approach women. Here he comes, clothesline by Skylar Phoenix to start off this contest. Dropped again by Phoenix. One more time, shoulder block this time. Taking Paul Clement down. Tell the fans to count it. There's leg drop number one. Here comes leg drop number two. And soon will be the double axe handle sit down style. There it is. Three shots to the skull. And we get a two count as Paul Clement kicks out. Skylar Phoenix now driving the head of Paul Clement into the turnbuckles. Slams him in twice. Drop toe hold. Takes him into the middle turnbuckle. Wait a second, here comes Todd Sobel. Skylar Phoenix there, crashing into the corner, driving Paul's head right into the turnbuckle. And why is Todd Sobel out at ringside? Could it be that he's sore about apocalypse and sore about last week, where Skylar Phoenix eliminated Sobel? It's possible. Don't you cheer. Or could it be because uh, he's got the same suit that he had last year? Could it be that he is upset that he's wearing the same suit as he always wears and he's out here to let everybody know he's unhappy about it? Who knows? Not much offense going on here from Paul Clement. In fact, the man hasn't laid a single ounce of offense. Kicked in the side of the head. Skyler Phoenix laying a beat down on Paul Clement. You almost don't even have to call this. This guy's got the offense. How about that local sports team? Actually, it was Sears, so shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Best referee pulling Skylar Phoenix back. What is this? Drop kick out. Slides in between and knocks the heads of Todd Sopo. And there he goes down after the noggin knocker there of Paul Clement and Todd Sopo. Sopo gets floored. Paul Clement gets sent back into the ring. Sky on the ropes, cross, flying clothesline. I was about to say cross by there. We get a count of two, and Paul Clement kicks out. Grabbing both of those arms and driving Paul Clement straight down into the man. Now he's going for the sky flow. Could it be sky flow? Time, yes it is. Sky flow to Paul Clement. This could be all. Skylar Phoenix lock, about to lock on the same submission move that he defeated Todd Sopo with on Annihilation, excuse me, Apocalypse. And he does the same, defeating Paul Clement here. And geez, just about three minutes. I'm not sure Skylar Phoenix now giving chase to Todd Sopo. Both in backstage, Skylar Phoenix in hot pursuit. I understand our cameras with Asylum. Let's go see what's going on. And can you believe last week, Lord of the Ring, the big return of WAW, our team championship tag team match with the Chaos Brothers, it really interfered with two run-ins, not one, two. First payback runs in, Rob Marsh is upset about his hand getting cut in half by a table, not my fault, ruined his sex life. And then, of course, Full Metal Jacket has to get involved. Captain got burnt by my hellfire and... Uh... How rare! Indeed. I've never seen anything quite like it. Easy! You guys uh, seen Todd Sopel right Todd Sopel. First name Todd, last name Sopel? That is correct, sir. Never heard of him. You're going to have to give me a description. Uh, about a little bit over six feet of virgin. About six feet of virgin. Uh, yeah. Sixth grade haircut. Sixth grade haircut. Not a day over. 300 pounds of side boob. I and have a lot of side boob. Wide load. Wide load tattooed right there. Right there. You've got a nice ass. Thank you. Hmm. 
Uh, it sounds like second grade to me. You know what? Honestly, let me see. Get off of me! Oh, right in my ear, honestly! You should have put your leg on my hand! Anyway, what about tonight? Enough about last week. Let's get tonight. Yeah, tonight. That's right, tonight. You got triple threat. I do. We're talking about Rob Marsh. Hand hurts. We're talking about Captain Vincent Zarello. And even though there's not a single scar on his face, he is angry, and it's probably because he was born so hideous. I, I think didn't he make it that way. It's not my fault. And you! Oh, yeah, I got Kev Guess. Let's do this. Who we beat? Yeah! Wait, I know how to beat him. Hey, get title shots. We can beat him once, we can beat him again. Get up title shots. Absolutely. Get off of me! Why? God, you didn't sneak up on me like oh, that. How are you doing? How are you? We're doing great. Look at these. Great. Yeah, yeah you look wonderful. Yeah, that's rubbing it. Uh, I got two things to say. Number one, you guys don't think you and I set you guys up with payback, but Oh, right? no. Of course not. Would you? They acted alone. Everybody knows that. You guys wouldn't do a thing like that. Right. I appreciate that. Probably are. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, uh, it says that you guys won by disqualification. That's right. Disqualification. Mm -hmm. uh, it should have been a no contest because you guys uh, know that it wasn't me and Q that set you guys up. That has nothing to do with us. We're not the referees. We didn't make the decision. They just see payback coming out of the attack on us. They might think I got these white stripes thing going on. They might think I'm a ref now. Well, you guys could you guys could fill out a form and gave it to movie star or the board of directors mm -hmm. saying that we weren't involved with that whatsoever, uh, which would give us a rematch. Uh, okay. Huh? We're not filling any forms because last week the ref's decision is final. We won by DQ. You lose. Plus, I mean, we would have beaten them anyway, right? right? We had that match won like that. They were going to tap to the cross face and the devil off. They were done. If I tapped out, we wouldn't have lost. She because number been one, been I was legal. Number two, you weren't. Number three, he was. He had Q with the devil off. Yeah. So he would have been legal. Q wouldn't have been legal. If, I, if me and Q tapped out, it wouldn't have mattered. Because uh. he would have had to get me in the devil walk for me to... Well, you know what? Since we have a match tonight, I'll do what you were going to do last week. I will make you tap to the cross face. You don't want to get on my bad side. Just ask Saint, okay? Oh, Saint. He's still dying somewhere. You know what? Tonight, I'll make you tap to the cross face, and I'll get my title oh, shot. Boss, give me a break. Are you, are you kidding me? I'm not you're kidding. I'm getting that. Out. I've yeah. never tapped out before. You will I'm tap tonight. So. You all yeah, you will. How you doing? I'm really sorry about Ken. Uh, guys. Yeah. Well, Oh. Just that he's worked so hard to get these title shots. He's a hard worker. And now to get him taken away by payback, it's, it's kind of just like a slap in the face. It's you know? tragic, really. Absolutely. And now tonight, I get my title shot. Yes, you did. Congratulations. And, and he still never held the title. I, it's just kind of a sore subject when it comes to him, you know? Yep. So, um, I was wondering if you could do us a little favor. Do you want me to sign the form, don't you? Please. <sighs> Rocco's gonna kill me. Show me where the uh, officials are.